Hi, everyone. Well, we're into another lockdown. Yes, that's not a surprise, but that doesn't make it any easier, does it? I think there can be all sorts of reasons why uh, this time around, it can be even more of a challenge, whether it's the weather, whether it's just reduced daylight hours, uh, all that can add into the emotional challenge, kind of even some mental challenges to that. It, it can be tough. And what really what I hope to do in this short encouragement is to just to give some things that, that hopefully will help us, okay? Just some simple, simple encouragements. And the first one I want to start with is that, is encouragement, is to encourage. And in this time of, of restrictions, there are some things we can still do and we can still encourage. Paul writes to the church in Thessalonica and he, he says this, he, it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14, and he encourages them to encourage the disheartened, to help the weak and be patient with everyone. And that's quite a good verse, isn't it, for us to take into these coming weeks, to encourage the disheartened, to help the weak and to be patient with everyone to encourage the disheartened. There, I think there'll be ways that all of us struggle with times of being disheartened for whatever reason. And the answer to that often can be encouragement. It's helpful to see scripture putting it there as a as response to being disheartened. So let's look for ways to encourage. It can be a text, it can be a, a phone call. We, we can actually write, the postal service still works. And sometimes just a, a, a card sent to someone can come out of the blue, and it can be a real encouragement. We also, at the moment, at the time of recording, we can still walk with someone. We could meet up outside, uh, walk public in a public place, open space, and uh, we can walk, chat, ask how folks are, you know, person, how that person is. We can pray with them. Let's look for ways to encourage. Let's be all the more attentive, all the more aware. And let's see what the power of encouragement is, that it, it can help the disheartened. So let's encourage one another. Also, let's reach out. Let's uh, be just mindful and thoughtful of the people that we can reach out to. And here's an idea, okay? Let's reach out to our friends. You know, I think we'll do that naturally and normally. Let's think of some folks to reach out to that we wouldn't normally be in contact with. Let, let's make that a real uh, goal, really, of this lockdown period. But also, why not look out or reach out to some folks that are maybe complete strangers to you? Okay, obviously be careful with that. But what I mean by that is that we might see someone, if we're out walking or, you know, just passing someone, or there might just be someone that we think of that we really haven't been in contact with for a while. Let's take this opportunity to reach out. And let's reach out in the different spheres that we live in. We, 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 you know, there's the home environment, there's the, there's the neighborhood we live in. For some, it's still going to the workplace. And so it's that work environment. And it, it just many settings where we connect with people, even going to do our essential shopping. You know, we, 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 we do meet with you know, folks who serve us and things like that. And folks who are trying to make things work well for us in shops. Let's look to reach out in just simple ways to express love, express care, express concern, uh, just to express the grace of God. I think we will have challenges of... <sighs> Well, maybe it's just me, okay? I think we can get more irritable. Uh, we can get more anxious. We can even be angry uh, and just, you know, 
things can start to begin to um, just be affecting us internally. And so let's, I think, to be intentional in reaching out just, just helps us at times to overcome those things. You know, we, we guard our heart because if we don't deal with those things, they will find an unhelpful uh, way out, you know. And, uh, but let's look for ways to express care and to reach out. Ask, and that's such an important thing. Please, can uh, we just want to encourage you, you know, as a leadership team, as part of Kings, we want to say to you, please, if you are needing help, do ask, okay? And I know it sometimes can be difficult to ask. Uh, you don't want to be a burden, you don't want to be a problem, and uh, you don't put other people out. But please contact, please, you know, contact friends in the church. You know, that, that's often the first port of call. But if you're not sure who to, who to reach out to, then drop us a line at pastoral at kingscc, and we'll do .org, and we'll do our best to get back to you. And if we are able to help, we, you know, we can never promise it, but if we are able to help, we will do our best. Let's ask and Sometimes in asking for help, we enable other people to be a blessing to us and be an encouragement to us. But obviously, ask as well. It does take us into, uh, it, it, into prayer, doesn't it? You know, we learned that as we looked at, the, as we did the prayer course earlier on in our first lockdown. And uh, Pete Gregg so helped us, you know, in, even around that word ask. Let's be praying. You know, I just encourage you, we've got another opportunity to pray with thousands across the world. Uh, this Friday the 13th in the evening, that, that global concert of prayer, details on our last newsletter. And uh, literally, that so helped us in those months of May into June. And it's very timely that now we're in lockdown, it's happening again. Let's do that. Let's look for ways. Again, you can, as I said earlier, walk and talk and pray with someone. We have our Thursday morning prayer meeting. That is always, and for me, such an encouragement. It's whenever I can be part of that, I just want to be. And that is there for you to join as well. If you want to know more details of that and how to join, then just contact Alex and she'll make sure you have the details. Let's be asking God, let's be praying. You know, the Archbishop of Canterbury has stirred us. Let's make this a month of prayer. Let's be in faith for God to move in our nation. And let's be confident. There are great uncertainties in these times. Even if barely a week goes by in the news and there's not another thing to be rocked by, to be uncertain about. But there are things that we can be sure of. There are things that we can be certain of. God is good. God is sovereign. God loves us. He's for us. He's not against us. God is working his purpose out. Let's be confident in God. Let's be certain in the things that are unshakable. So important. Let's also be Confident in these promises, just part of a prayer meeting earlier this week where someone shared from at the end of Isaiah 40. And it talks about those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength, their strength. And a bit before that, it talks even young men will, will, will stumble, their, their strength will fail them. And, but God strengthens the weak. We know a mighty God and we have mighty promises. Let's be confident in these things. So what are some of the things we can do? We can encourage and we can reach out. We can ask one another for help, but also as well ask God. And we, we can also be confident in the things that are unchangeable. If you were to say all those words and just say the first letter from each and jumble them all up, you would end up with C-A-R-E, care. God cares for us. In the midst of lockdown, beyond lockdown, 
whatever the future holds for us, God cares for us. Listen to Peter as he writes this. He says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Cast all your anxiety on him for he cares for you. Let's know God's amazing care. As we're anxious, as we struggle, let's cast it upon him where he cares for you. And as we know that, that helps us actually to express our care to others in these ways that we've just looked at. And there'd be many other ways. But let's know the care of God. And then let's be, let's be in that place where we can give care in appropriate ways to those we know, perhaps those we don't know so well, but also to folks who just somehow God brings across, across our paths or even in our minds over these coming weeks. God bless you. God be with you. And may you really know his grace just strengthening your heart. And may his care be your daily portion. Bless you.